comes pack number one. Okay, interesting. Let's see what happens. Oh, a golden already. That's fast. Okay, let's read all this. I don't know what any of these do. Okay, I've actually got the mechanical yeti. That's pretty good. Kassan Mystic, 4 mana, 4 3. Battle cry, take control for random enemy secret. Oh, yeah, I really wanted that, actually. Because that's just like an, an anti secret neutral comp. Then flame cannon to make your card deal 4 damage to a random enemy minion. That's kind of okay. Uh, if you play it early enough, I don't suspect your opponent will have many minions to choose from, anyways. Floating Watcher. Enemy hero takes damage on your on on your turn, on my turn. Oh, so when I tap. Huh. That's interesting. And he's a demon. I like demons. And we've got Snow Chugger, Freeze and Character Damage by this minion. Oh, nice. Oh, and these cards are all ready. Okay, let's go. Gold rare. Got gold rare. It's just awesome. Okay. Unstable portal, add a random minion to your hand, it costs three less. Glaive Suku, battle cry, give a random friendly minion plus one attack. Okay, that's a thing. Crackle, deal three to six damage. That's very random, and that's just pure damage. If you get two of these guys, and then two lightning bolts, and then two lava bursts, that can potentially be lethal. Lava burst that's five damage, five damage, crackle that's six damage, six damage should be really lucky. And then you got uh lightning bolt, I think it's four damage, isn't it? I think it is. Clockwork gnome. Oh yeah, that's pretty good. Add a spot spare part to your hand. Death up. Cobra shot, deal three damage. Uh to a minion and the enemy hero. Interesting. But five mana is kind of a lot. Hmm. There we go. Siege Engine, Warrior Cart, 5 mana, 5-5. Five, five. Whenever you gain armor, give this minion plus 1 attack. I don't suspect that's going to be too good. You might, like the Warlock call, card we just, just saw, you might want to play this and then use Hero Power to get 7-5 five for 5 mana. It's, well, not 5 mana, 7 mana, actually. So what you'll get is 7-5 plus 2 armor. For 7 mana, that's not really worth it. So unless you have, like, some insane combo going with uh, some armor smiths and some armor up, whatever that card's called, give you five armor. And there's not too good splinter, stone splinter troll. And if your opponent casts a spell, oh, that's good. I really want to make an anti opponent spell deck. And these trocks seem to be doing the, seem to be doing the job. Goblin auto barber, give your weapon plus one attack. Oh, nice. I like this rogue card. Anoyatron, Taunt, Divine, Shield. That's really annoying for my opponent. Mech Warbler, your mechs cost less. I actually got four mechs in this pack. Yeah, got an epic and a rare, oh god. Where were the cock am I? I saw that. Battle Cry, give a random friendly minion, Divine, Shield and Taunt. That's really good, but I don't play Paladin, so... Um, Guess I might want to do that now. Oh look, another floating watcher. That's really cool. Guess I want to make a demon deck now. Vitality turned him at the end of your turn, restore four health to your hero. Awesome. What's that? Oh, we got got a little thing. Got a little thing down there. Uh, it's a totem. Wait, did do all the other totems also have that little thing declaring that they're a totem? I think they might. Okay, nonetheless. Warpot enrage plus one attack. That's really bad, I guess. Unless you can, of course, enrage it. Like, if you can, in, if you can enrage it, then it becomes a two three for one mana, which is cheaper than most two threes. But you have gotta spend some mana to enrage it somehow. I guess it's okay. Cookmaster has plus two attack while you have a mech. Oh, there we go. So that's a, a one mana three two. Pretty good if you have a mech. A mech deck would be good at this. We want to let you know it's a good. See what happens. Oh, or no pack. Oh, no. Two rares. Oh, look at that. Mistress of Fane is a, a demon. Whenever this minion takes damage, 
restore that much health to your hero. Hmm. Interesting. I really like the idea for, for Demon Deck. Oh, look, another Noyotron. I'm going to put these into my Warlock deck, my, like my Sue deck. Taunt, Divine Shield, Tinker Sharp Sword Oil. Uh, Rogue, give you a weapon, plus three attack combo. Give a random friendly minion, plus three attack. So you can choose. Oh, this is a really interesting card. Because if you choose to play this first, before, like, start the combo, you get your weapon plus three attack. But if you combo it, which means if you have to play a card before this card to use it, or if you just want the effect, then you get another effect. You give the effect, give a random friendly minion plus three attack. And often it's actually better to give yourself plus three attack, I'd say, compared to a random friendly minion. Because minions might die, you don't die as easily. Hmm. Dune Maul Shaman, Wind Fury, Overload. Well, it won 50% chance to attack the wrong enemy. Okay, so it's a Yeti with Wind Fury that overloads. That's 50% chance to... You know, it's not a Yeti what I'm talking about. It's kind of Yeti-ish. You know what I mean. What's this? Too many good cards. That's a very ordinary pack, though. Druid of the Fang. If you have a beast. Oh, man. Beast. Not... Very many Druid casts are beast, except for Druid of the Claw. Okay, so I see Druid of the... So Coin, Druid of the Claw, Druid of the Fang, that's going to be really good. Nice. Mech Warbar, another one of those, good. And Goblin and Auto Barbar, Barbara, I like that card. That's good. And Whirling Sapomatic. Nice. Got a Lil Exorcist here. Taunt Battlecry, gain plus two plus two for each enemy minion. No, for each enemy. For, no, for each enemy death rattle minion. I thought it had. I thought it, it would stop after each enemy and then say death rattle something. But no. So this is anti. Uh, what do you call it? Um, the guy. The Undertaker. Goody. The goody guy. Oh, an epic. Yeah. Oh, rogue card. Sabotage. Destroy a random enemy minion. Combo and your opponent's weapon. So a random enemy minion, it's kind of like so if you just use the destroy random enemy minion, you might as well use Assassinate, which isn't really good to start with. But if you combo it and you actually do get some value out of destroying your opponent's weapon, I think it might be good. If you don't get value out of destroying your opponent's weapon, which you'll only you're only gonna get that like maybe twenty Ten percent of the time, so it's not really good. So I don't really think this is too good of a card. Nonetheless, explosive sheep. That's really awesome. Deal two, da uh, deal two da damage to all minions. That's really good with uh, Nerubian X, actually. Oh, not all enemies. All mi all minions. Yeah. I already got three snow chokers. Stop following me, stupid snow sugar. Force tank max. It's an 8 cost 7-7 seven, seven with divine shield. That's not really worth it, I'd say. I'm not sure the divine shield is worth that, it's, it's worth that much. Light of Naru. Uh, restore 3 health. If the target is still damaged, summon a light warden. Oh, man. That's awesome. I want to have a light warden deck now. Just play some heals. What an epic! No legendary. Oh, Doctor Boom! I don't. Oh God, that's awesome! I got a legendary. Doctor Boom. Battle cry. Summon two one one Boom bots. Doctor Doom. Doctor Boom. Ha ha. I get it. Warning. Bots may explode. I'm gonna play with that card as soon as I get a shot. Ships cannon. Whenever you summon a pirate, deal two damage to a random enemy. So that's that kind of enables a pirate deck here. And another Noitron, we've got three of those as well. Upgraded repair but battle cry, give a friendly min a friendly mech plus four health. So that's a priest mech deck, I guess. And balance chairs, and that's a really good priest card. A minion plus three plus four and spell damage for three mana. That is insane. Like that's such a good good buff card. Okay. But I got an epic, not a legendary. A legendary. Boom. And I got. Oh man. 
man, oh man, oh my, and man. It was blend for those two. I'm getting all these things. Fell Reaver. Whenever your opponent plays a card, it's got to the top three cards of your deck. That's interesting. So I get to just discard a lot of cards. Uh, and I have an 8-8. Eight eight. I'm not sure that's good. you really got to watch out. You've got to finish the the game really quickly. Ogre Ninja. F stealth. All these Ogre cards. That's awesome. 50% chance to attack the wrong enemy. But it's a 6-6 six six for 5 and it's got stealth. That's pretty good. But I guess... The point in stealth is you have you save your card on the board till you see a valuable trait and then you take it through stealth. And that's kind of ruined by the 50% chance to attack the wrong enemy. And then there's the Lost Tall Strider, that's kind of an awesome beast. 4 mana 5 4. It's Yeti, except it's got switched up stats, but it's a beast. So if you had a Yeti, that was a beast. That would be really good in Hunter, mid range Hunter. Uh, no more good infantry, charge and taunt. Why would you have charge and taunt? Three mana, one fort. No, that's not really good. Like, for three mana, you can get some really good stuff. But, like, compare this to, uh, the three mana, one four silverback patriarch. That's only got taunt. This one's got charge and taunt. Same stats. That's so weird. Like, power creep. It's, it's just an upgrade. There's no reason. There's no, there's n in no scenario this would be not an upgrade compared to silverback patriarch. Which is a really bad card. Druid of the Fang again. That's my second or third. It's really good. Um, no mind. Yeah. Four pack. No, four pack left. Uh, Force tank max again. Tingo. Uh, there's all these three cards. I already got one of. Goblin Blast Mage Battle Cry. If you have a mech, deal three. Deal four damage randomly, sp randomly split among all enemies. So among all enemies, that's pretty good. So that's your mech mage deck right there. An ogre brute, that's three mana four four, fifty fifty percent chance to attack the wrong enemy. If you get this taunt, you're gonna actually just have it sit on the on the field and it's really stat efficient and your opponent's gotta attack it anyways. But I guess that's kind of what an angel watcher is good for, and that's two mana five no four five. That's even better. But this can attack, so that's, that's kinda good. I got a shredder. Pilot shredder. Okay. So death rattle, summon a random uh two cost minion. I really like the pilot cards because they they add some awesome randomness into it. Like you summon a random two cost minion. So what you pay for is like four mana four three is not really good. You could get four mana four five in the Yeti, but because of this uh death rattle, you summon a two cost minion. And I don't know what the average two cost minion is, but what I know is all you're needing to be like stat stats wise compared uh, to the Yeti is two health, not none at no, and no attack. So have a death rattle summon a random two cost minion. All that two cost minion's got to have is two health and zero attack, which would be like an Nerubian egg that's silenced. And then this would actually be be value and most of the time I know you're not gonna get like s rubbish cards as a silence and ruby and egg flame can we all get one of those and shielded mini butt that's a really good value card it is paladin though so I'm not sure you're gonna get it another lost tall strider so next to second next to almost my last packet that's what I'm trying to say Another Golden Blast Mage Ship Cannon, that's good for Pirates, Cookmaster, good for Mechs. Is that my, like my third or fourth Flame Cannon? And Seal of Light, restore 5 health to a, to your hero and gain plus to attack this turn. Oh, hmm. that's some Paladin there. Uh, Paladin FaceTime. My last pack. Okay, come on, no let's go. Yes, it's it's an epic and a rare. Okay, that's pretty good. But I did get the sabotage. Or you got one of those. Got the blast mate. That's my third. Orga brute. That's my second. So second on those. And then druid of the fang. It's my third or fourth, I think. Okay, so I did get a lot of cards here, but I did also get a lot of the same cards, which is kind of disappointing. But I'm gonna look at all these cards. Thirteen 
packs opened. I got Druid of the Fang, I got two of the ordinary ones, and one of the golden ones. Um, I'm not going to disenchant any of them right now, because I know they might be subject to change. Blizzard finds out anything's too overpowered. And then we can refund them for the full cost. I'm not going to do that. For the for the times when Rep Leopard Suit was just started, it just isn't enough. Hmm. Oh, another card. What do I get? Oh, the Cobra Shot, that's right. Pretty nice. Mage card, Flame Cannon, two of those, and the Golden Flame Cannon, that's my third Flame Cannon. Unstable Portal, Sh oh, yeah, Snow Chugger. Um, and the Golden Blast Mage. Got a lot of duplicates right here. Seal of Light. Shield of Mini Bud and the Cock Hammer. Get a random friend of Minion, uh, Divine Shield and Taunt. That's such a good, good, good thing to do. Like 3 mana, 2, 3. You can potentially kill 3 minions and give one of your friendly minions Divine Shield and Taunt. That's real value. Really, really good value. But that's kind of the priest thing. No, the, the paladin thing, isn't it? Like, just going to trade really efficiently and uh, do all the. All the efficient things, and then never run out of health because heals. Light of Naru. It's a pretty awesome card. I need one. Need, need more of those. And then I need to make a. Oh god, I'm so sorry. I haven't slept much. And then make a heal deck. I want to do that. Balance chosen. It's a cool card. And then the upgrade a repair book. That's right. Let's see, we've got the goblin. To Barb or two of those. That's a really good card. I'm gonna put that in the rogue deck. Sabotage, two of those. Tinker's Sharp Sword Oil, two of those as well. And then, then the Ogre Ninja, that's right. The Ogre Ninja is such a cool, such a cool uh, picture. Giant. He's not the greatest to get into ninja school, but his dad pulled some strings. Ha ha ha. Crackle. Snap. This card. Pop. Nice. Vitality Totem. Whirling Sapomatic. I know Wind Fury and a 3 2 minion is not really too good. Unless you can get to attack your opponent's face, but it's not really good for clearing minions since it's probably going to die to everything except for one attack minions. And the Dune Mold Shaman. That's pretty cool. Oh yeah, and we got all of these cards. The demon cards. Mistress of Pain. Oh, I know this minion deals damage, not takes damage. I thought that was what it was. Restore at much healthier hero. So when this minion deals damage, I take that. Well, I get, I receive that as health. It's pretty cool. And the fell cannon. At the end of your turn, deal two damage to a non-mech minion, which means it might be me, might not be me, but it's two damage to, well, my minions might not, might not be my minions. We've got floating watchers, yeah. Then if you're here, it takes damage uh, on your turn. Okay, plus two, plus two. Pretty damn cool. The warbot. Siege engine. I don't play too much Morio or Paladin. Uh, I want to get into Shaman, but I haven't really done that. Don't play too much Mage either. Clockwork Gnome. Oh yeah, Cockmaster. Annoyatron. Many of those. Explosive Sheep. Oh yeah, I got two of those. That's pretty cool. Mechwarber. Ship cannon, ship's cannon, stone splinter truck, Nomrugan infantry, Lelex assist, ogre brood, the Kassar mystic. I'm really glad I got that one because I hate secrets and I really want to like counter my opponent's secrets. And the mechanical yeti, that right. The lost top strings. Pilot Shredder, I like that gun. That's really cool. The Fell Reaver. That, that's actually a really cool card. Imagine silencing that. Like, oh yeah. 
I'm going with the Wailing Soul, and that's going to be talking about it. So I'm sure the minion stats really, really value. So in a Druid deck, you could innovate this. Turn 3, innovate Fell Reaver. Turn 4, Wailing Soul. And you'd be pretty set. And Dr. Boom. Oh, yeah. Marvel at his mind. Oh, Marvel. Oh, it's a really bad pun. Because <laughs> Dr. Doom and Marvel and cartoons and such. Uh, relax things. Oh, what did I miss? Oh, there we go. Torch Riders. I thought I looked at those. Oh, I did miss another thing. There you go, the Ogre Brute. Guess I just moused over them. <laughs> Ogres have really bad, have really terrible short term chocolate. Ha ha ha. And that's it for now, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed this, and I'll see you next time. Bye.